Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we are looking at another statue from Bradford Exchange. And I would like to start off this video by just apologizing ahead of time to Bradford Exchange. Uh, they asked me if I would review this, and I said yes, that's perfectly fine, I'd be happy to. I don't really do statues, but I will if you want to send it, so that's fine. And I made sure that they actually wanted a review and not just like a promo video where they pay me and I show the thing off. And they said, nope, a review is what we want, do a review. I said, okay. And so here's, here's, the, here's the review. I, I wanna point out though, uh, even before I get started, this does not look very much like the original image. The image on their website, which is where they sell these, um, mostly in the face, but pretty much all of the detail stuff significantly better on the website so that is right off the bat unacceptable this looks like a bootleg of what is being advertised on the website so that's not a good thing also this thing comes in at 130 bucks which for a statue of this size seems like a reasonable price if the statue is of substantial quality and this one is not the only thing that is actually fairly well implemented though not very well because as you can see right here it doesn't actually have like the, sh the detail work of a headlamp uh well yeah this one doesn't look old enough that it wouldn't have even like some kind of etching or something in there but either way there's a switch back here and you can turn on the headlamp and that's fine and in real life it's not as bright as it looks on camera but it's just I mean, that might be glass, it feels like glass, but it's just like a marble type thing. It's not, it doesn't actually look like a headlamp, so that kind of blows, but it does light up. And so here we have it, Captain America. It's about 12 inches long overall. Yeah, pretty much exactly. Pretty close to exactly, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that now. And so, like I said, it's not necessarily not worth the price, or at least it wouldn't have been. The bike looks okay, we do have a lot of chrome work. And then the tires are painted to look kind of like rubber. And then we have some kind of a matter flat black for the uh, frame and for the seat. Then we have this glossy blue for the all the metal work. The tank and the fenders and uh, headlamp and that kind of stuff. But it's just like there's not really much. Like this is all just solid chrome right here. I don't know. It just seems very, very basic. And that's not even, like that's the best part is the bike. Now we have to talk about Captain America. And as you can already tell, he looks terrible. Absolutely disgustingly terrible. Look at the face. Holy, holy, I zoomed in on it. Now I want to, gosh, that's bad. Holy macaroni. That is, it looks like they're drawing One Punch Man or Doug Funny as Captain America. What happened? Holy crap. It's so bad like it's offensively bad it's really bad really bad the only thing that's good about it is the a is clean look at the face also look at the colors his neck is i mean his head and neck are such a significantly different blue and i get that that's intentional but it's more intent like it's more different than it should be and then his main body is like a very very royally blue which it has been, but I'm not sure about this particular version of him. But either way, this combination of the two blues looks really cheesy. Also, it's got black shading all over the place with no real purpose. Like, you can see on the top of the collarbone area, there's shading right there. That's a high spot, and there's shading on it. It's very strange. Then if you look in at the details, not really the details, but there's like not enough paint it's there's still white showing through there it's terrible also it's so unclean the line work is atrocious it's so bad and if you look down here at the abdominals the paint works even worse there's splotchiness everywhere oh everywhere on his body i mean not every little instance of of paint work it's so unclean, and for a statue, that's unacceptable. Look at the arm right here. Gross. Also, look how skinny and lanky his arm is. His whole body's fairly skinny and lanky. It's pretty bad. Look at the straps for the for the, for the the shield. Let's see if I can talk and not say for the for the a hundred times. It's terrible. Like, this is bad, guys. The other one was a, was a, oh my god, I can't stop stuttering. You know I'm not sleeping enough. <laughs> 
The other, the Captain Marvel one was a paint master. Nope, not a paint master, an artist proof. So I assumed some of the errors on it were because of that, but this is not an artist proof. This guy's got a full number on the bottom. Looks like it's 1815. I don't know how many, but 1815. Classic masterpiece sculpture. Masterpiece is um, being used pretty liberally, I think, here. <laughs> Good grief. The leg paintwork is terrible. You can see down here in his, this side of his abs, how gross it is over here. It just is absolute, I can't get over it. Like I hate it being this forwardly negative about something that they send me for a review. Like I can say, yes, it's very bad. Thank you for sending it. I'm sorry it didn't work out. But this one is just like, yes, it's, it's absolutely terrible. And I can't help but go on about it because it's absolutely, there's just so much bad. The shield looks like butts. Like, they didn't even get the line work clean. This looks like a rough sculpt. Look at this. That's paint and sculpt that's making that wobbly. I wish you could run your fingle, fingernail. Fingal. Fingal nair. Run your fingernail through there. You could feel how rough it is. There's red all over the blue. There's splotchiness in the red. This is truly one of the worst things I've ever reviewed, quality-wise. It's so bad. And like I said, I mean, I was gonna be honest either way, but I did. I don't typically like to be this negative, especially for free stuff. And I know I'm not getting more free stuff after this, but I have to be honest with you guys. This thing is, honestly, I'm offended and I didn't pay for it. I can only imagine how people feel who did pay for it. It's so bad. On this one, at least on mine, his foot's no longer connected to the thing. So there's part of the, let me zoom in. There's part of the whatever foot peg thingy. I don't know what motorcycle parts are called. Stuck to his foot. And so there's a chunk missing out of the peg thingy. Golly. $130 for this would have been great if it lit up like it does and had a good sculpture. Like if it looked like the photo, perfect. Nope. This thing's worth like $5. I mean, this looks like a handmade tchotchke stuffed on top of like a motorcycle model that somebody bought. It's just so, so poorly done. Honestly, it would be so much better if it was just painted better, but the sculpture cap is still really bad, but the paint is, it's, it's a, it's, a, I can't even, on a scale of one to even, I just can't. This is terrible. I am sorry, Bradford Exchange, if you're watching this. I was very clear though, that if you send it, I'm reviewing it. And that's what you wanted, and this is what you got. So at least they have some integrity in that sense. I mean, maybe they have all the integrity, I don't know. But their product is terrible. And uh, I can't really accept when, like obviously products change from the original photos to the final product. There's gonna be some change. But this looks nothing like the original thing. The bike is about the only part that's similar. Because when he showed it to me, I was like, yeah, this thing looks pretty sweet. Sure, I'd be happy to review it. I did not expect to get that let's just look at his face again real quick and then we'll call it a day let's just leave it right there oh my god oh he's got bernie mac eye too and his mask is crooked all over his nose and his eyes to oh my god oh it's looking into my soul okay absolutely 100 percent not worth the money at all even a little bit this is not worth any amount of money because of how bad it is there's no redeeming not enough redeeming uh value here man i can't get over how bad this is this is truly terrible all right guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed you probably should because i have new videos up just about every single day and thousands are already on the channel so come back for all that and in the meantime keep collecting